So hello everyone, we are Linton, Tobia from the Hansen University of Hong Kong. I'm Wayman, and with me is Sarah and Christy. Just like our name, today we're here to present a secret of Nintendo to success in over 130 years. This is our presentation outline. So as I mentioned, that Nintendo is a company with over 130 years of history and serves over 40 regions now. It's also the top five video game companies in the world among those strong competitors. And now I'm going to talk about the critical time and breakthrough of Nintendo. Here are some important days of Nintendo. And now I'm going to talk about the first critical time, which is the transformation from paying custom manufacturing to a game business. In the past, Nintendo was a company which mainly produced Hanafuda. However, Hanafuda was gradually associated with gambling, crime, and gangster in the 1960s. The citizens of Japan are not willing to pay anymore. Therefore, it turned out that continuous selling Hanafuda is not likely to be profitable for the firm. Conversely, producing new products and transferring to another business appears to be a better op option for Nintendo to survive in future. During the same time, there are great changes of the marketing environment in Japan. The population of Japan rises up currently 12%, and the total factor productivity rises and contributes about 4% to its 10% annual growth rate. This illustrates that the economic environment has also been improved and people have more disposable income to spend. Furthermore, with the improvement of technology, Nintendo decided to invest on game industry and released their first game consoles in 1977. With the changing of the industry, Nintendo covers more target customers with women, elderly, and children. The marketing environment helped Nintendo in developing games and gaming customers, which led to a long-term success. And the second critical event will be the video game crash in 1983 to 1985. During that time, there are large-scale reception of video game industry in the United States. There are two major reasons which caused the video game crash. The first reason is that there is no restriction for third-party developers, and it results in the appearance of many low-quality games. In the market. The second reason is that the computer games share the market of game consoles badly. During that time, game consoles only allow users to play limited games. However, computer provides a platform for players to choose a large variety of games. As a result, the sales revenue of game consoles was decreased rapidly in 1983 to 1985. It reached the 3.2 billion in 1983 and dropped to 100 million by 1985. It almost shut down the whole industry in North America. Therefore, Nintendo decided to produce higher quality games to attract customers and strictly control the third party developments of their consoles as to ensure the qualities of their games. They prevent third party developers by using checking integrated circuits on NES and instead of official Nintendo seal of approval for their video game titles. Based on those qualified games and policy, Nintendo gained a good reputation and revived the video game industry in the United States. By 1988, Nintendo dominates the video game industry in North America which only an 83% market share and at least 90% market share in Japan. And the first critical event will be a decline of Wii U. At the launch of Wii U, it was quite successful, but after the holiday, sales continued to slide significantly. The reason is that people discovered a shortage on Wii U, such as low battery life for the gamepad and limited game library. As the result, Wii U only has 30 million unit sales. The decrease in sales of Wii U resulting in Nintendo about $240 million annual loss. However, Nintendo learned from this failure and started developing a new game console, which is Nintendo Switch, a game console which combined the advantage of home consoles and portable consoles. They did a great improvement on the hardware system of Nintendo Switch, such as John Kong controller, motion sensing, and tactile feedback. There are also more third-party game supported and larger game library. The success of Nintendo Switch is because Nintendo offers an innovative consoles apart from traditional consoles in the competition. As a result, Nintendo Switch brings a great a success to Nintendo with around 56 million unit sales and 360 million unit sales of game. And I think you guys may wonder why Nintendo being so successful. I'm going to pass to Sarah to talk about the success factor of Nintendo. Thank you. Many factors contributed to the great success of Nintendo. One of the factors, factors which makes Nintendo successful is its Japanese corporate culture. The first point is that most of the Japanese companies are collectivistic and emphasize the importance of a sense of belongings. It does not only allow workers to be proud of working in Nintendo, but also increases their motivation to work hard. Apart from that, the Japanese management system highly values production and employees. Due to the respect for people, employees work for customers, colleagues, and boss, and hard work is expected from workers. This system improves staff morale significantly and contributes much to the quality of goods. One of the other features of Japanese management culture is that it focuses on long-term growth and global vision. 
Many companies following the traditional US model measure for short-term profits and produce rush games, which are popular within a short period of time, but fall out of, fall out of favor quickly. Contrastively, Nintendo usually spends a long period of time in game invention and testing before releasing the games. They also have strict quality control on products so that consumers can enjoy high quality games. As a video game company, Nintendo welcomes innovation. It builds a diverse and inclusive culture and recruits passionate workers who may be potential customers and fans. Thus, their knowledge and creativity can be contributed. Over the years, Nintendo keeps on advancing new technologies and game elements. For instance, we will bring new gaming experiences to players with Mario Kart. Have you heard of this game? It is Animal Crossing. In this game, players can design their own characters, decorations, and home. This illustrates Nintendo's willingness and ability to understand customers' needs. They closely follow popular trends, for example, Launching consumer customized games like Animal Crossing, other than games with preset background. With the high flexibility in customization, it allows players to build their ideal self and world, which is difficult to pursue in reality. As Nintendo understands customers' needs, produces high quality games, and keeps on improving their products, it develops a good reputation among the general public. On the other hand, after Nintendo saved the America video game crash, the policy they took to ensure game quality, such as CIC and official Nintendo seal, are still the current trend of the video game industry. Nintendo always focuses on pure game, which they only focuses on customers' gaming experiences and not the profit they get from the games. The standard they set for third-party developers and their own games are high too. The quality of Nintendo's games is also approved by gamers. For instance, in a review score session of IGN, which was a famous game review website, many of Nintendo's games were given 9.2, 9.5, or even 10 out of 10. However, moreover, Nintendo also has remarkable achievements, such as being awarded the Global Award Japanese product. Furthermore, extensive media coverage also helps Nintendo to succeed. As it frequently sends new posts about updates on these games and game consoles on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, they can spread the latest product information to the general public quickly and attract customers. Let me now pass the time to Christy to tell us more about the current situation. Thank you. So, where is Nintendo in the market now? In most of the years, the market was mainly dominated by Sony. Later on, after Nintendo overcome the decline of Nintendo Wii U, now the market is mainly distributed between Nintendo and Sony. Nintendo performance is especially great during the outbreak of COVID-19. Global home confinement makes Nintendo Switch become a good choice for entertainment. Therefore, Nintendo sold an unprecedented unit of Switch console. Moreover, while the supply of Nintendo Switch was also being affected, it created a special trend in the market. For example, here, many smart Hong Kong use Nintendo Switch as a reciprocal gift to attract customers. While many online sellers also use Nintendo Switch for promotion, it creates a market opportunity to Nintendo. However, from this data, we can see that PlayStation and Xbox have much higher reputation than Nintendo Switch. Nintendo cannot overlook the threat of the newly launched PS5. Firstly, PS5 includes plentiful games that are renowned and have large group of fans. These are the most well-known RPGs, and those renowned games may attract customers to consider PS5 rather than Nintendo Switch. Moreover, PS5 games target different groups of customers around the world, and the game gives a sense of reality. Three minutes left. It also has a special communication function. However, these weaknesses will take Nintendo at a disadvantage when compared with PS5. Especially, many different games are available in PS5, but Nintendo's games are only available in its own game console. So how will Nintendo deal with it? Firstly, Nintendo plans to allocate more resources on developing game theory in the Switch portal in order to attract more new gamers. Moreover, it also plans to improve Nintendo Switch Lite as it is more affordable and portable than Switch. Nintendo also plans to develop in the market of China by cooperating with Tencent. However, as mobile games dominated the market, what should Nintendo do in the future? Here are our recommendations. We support Nintendo to enter strategic alliance with high-tech companies. Therefore, Nintendo can improve the quality of game devices, 
such as the moving speed of Nintendo Switch is set to be slow. Also, by allying with the game developers around the world, Nintendo can have a big picture about the global market. It is easier for Nintendo to shoot the cultural difference and diversify their game design so that they can create unforgettable gaming experience. Tencent is dominated in the China of market, the market of China, so joint promotion with Tencent can help with the challenge that we have mentioned. Besides, Nintendo can localize the product with convenient payment method. It can also localize the games that best shoot the atmosphere in China. Second, Nintendo can sponsor the top gaming influencer to introduce their game by live broadcasting so the audience can know the actual operation of game. Moreover, Nintendo can also invite the influencer to test their newly launched games for their quality management. Moreover, Nintendo as a globalized brand, it did a great job in community service. However, we think that it can also make good use of its game devices to contribute to society. Nintendo can make adjustments in the range of adventure and launch new games that are suitable for elderly dementia treatment so as to cover a wider range in the game market. It can also enter the total market by investigating new games that can help for total community development or introduce new games that are for learning purposes. You may think that playing video games have detrimental effects on people's mind and health. Actually, Nintendo can create a new value with it, such as Wing the Adventure and Just Dance. They can be a motivator to encourage people to exercise their body. Finally, we want to bring out the global village concept. When gaming become a globalized activities, we believe that isolation between different ethnicity can be eliminated by video gaming. By developing games with cultural elements, players are easily immersed in different culture across the world. It can also intensify their cultural knowledge and level the distance between people. Communication and interactive elements in games should also be strengthened. As communication become indispensable to gamers, Nintendo should keep up with the change. We suggest designing simple interactive wordings or action for characters and a unique platform to attain communication purpose. Here are our important lessons. Keep up with the change is always important to a company development and a core value will always lead your company into success, just like Nintendo. It also reminds us that marketing environment is always changing and its behavior and it is- Presenting time is now. So, thank you for watching. This is the end of our presentation.